Let's see if this car cranks over. Let's see if it starts. Okay, ain't no use to keep on cranking it. First thing we're gonna do, let's hook up a spark tester and Noid light to find out what we're missing here. All right, bear back. All right guys, in order for a vehicle to start, this is with every vehicle, you're gonna need spark, you're gonna need fuel, and you're also gonna need injector posts. Now you got your fuel injectors and your injectors open and close, and let it, when it opens, it allow fuel to come in, and then the computer closes it back up. So what we got here is we got a spark tester. You can get them from Harbor Freight, like $5.99. And I like to get about seven or eight of them. Why? I don't know. Huh? Why? See? There you go. I answered your question. I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. Answer? So what we're going to do here is pull off one of the spark plug wires and hook it between there. And then this end goes down to the spark plug. Again, you can get these from Harbor Freight. And actually, you know, I mean, even if you have ignition coils, coil on plug, you can actually still use that as long as that harness is long enough to come out there. The next thing we're going to do is go over here. These nuts, these, these mosquitoes are all crazy out here, man. Good thing we got the off one. We're going to go over here. Here's one of our fuel injectors. We're going to reach down there and unplug it. And here's our Noid lights. These Noid lights will flash if the, as long as the computer is sending the signal through there. So what we got to do is connect that. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go out there. How do you know which way to... Turn, put it? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Either oh. way. Oh, you can okay. Get that way, whatever way it fits. Oh, I see. More convenient for you. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go crank the engine, and I should be getting a flash through here and a flash through here at the same time. All right, let me go check it in. Do that. Mm-hmm. Wait, can you show us one more time? Do it, right? I was able to get one. Okay. I tried to get them both at the same time, but it didn't work. Ready? Yeah. Alright, what we got? I didn't see nothing come out of that one. That one? That one. No, what about that one? Oh, yeah, it did flash. All right, cool. So now we know right now we have no injector pulse. So we forget anything else. I don't care if the fuel pump's coming on or not or whatever, anything. I don't care about that. My main focus right now is to get injector pulse. Now, on this injector pulse, you got two wires. On all injectors, guys, with the key on, one of those terminals has got to be hot. You got to get 12 volts. The other terminal, you're not going to get anything. The other terminal is going to be ground. So, let's look at this noise light right here for a second. So, this wire over here is supposed to be, as soon as you cut the key on, that's supposed to get 12 volts. Now, in order for this noise light to activate, it's, we're going to pretend that's, pretend that's the injector. This one has to have ground. So, the computer sends the ground signal to this one over here. It goes, tsh, tsh, and that opens and closes the injector. So we need that also. So we're gonna check both of those out and see which one don't we have. All right, let's get a. But no, that thing says GM. Does that matter? No, it don't matter at all. This thing can fit a bunch of. Why they put that in there on the noise? I don't know. This thing can fit so many different kind of. In uh, matter of fact, let me get the kit and show you guys. You can get a kit also. Be right back. All right, guys. Here's the kit. You can get this kit. Harbor Freight got these kits now. Really cheap. And. Yeah, how many of those do you get? Huh? How many of those do you get? What do you mean? You, because the other one you got like seven or eight. The other kit I bought? The thing over there. Oh, just, said. oh, 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 one kit. Just so <laughs> you need one kit. And you get different uh, Noid lights for different things. This is this is the old style big GM ones. But you get all different ones for different connectors. Also what I like, you got this right here which connects the idle air control valve. It checks the signal from the computer which is good. And this is what especially we, I like about this kit for you DIYers out there or don't have nobody else to crank the engine and check anything. You got this long wire right here. And what this wire does is check this out. You take a Noid light, you put the flash end into there, st stick it in just like that, hook it up, 
And when you go to start the car, now you have this long wire that you can bring up to where you are and it'll actually, because it, the, uh, you can have, it'll actually flash right inside there. So that's where you'll know it just because you don't have nobody to turn the engine for you. All right, now that we got that, let's put that up. And what is this kit called? This is called Anoid Light Set. This is 11 piece. This is a very cheap place. This is part number ATD 5612, just in case you want to look that up. I have no idea where I got it from. So you said Herbert Frank? Yeah, I think of, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, guys, get you your regular test light. All right, you wanna hook one end up the ground, just like that, and just to make sure that's a good ground, you wanna touch the bat positive battery post, there it is, lights up, great. So now we're, we're gonna put the key on, and one of these wires better light up uh, red, light it up. Okay, key is on. Damn mosquitoes, man, it's everywhere around here. There it is, we got one. It lit up, go to the other one. Huh, we got the other one also. That's because of the, the way it's wired up, but that's cool. We know we got 12 volts going through there. That is good. That means the computer is not sending our ground pulse. So you know what we're gonna do, guys? Let's get our computer and hook this up and see what the computer reads. We'll be right back. All right, guys and girls, check it out. Here we go. Hooking up my Actron 9690. The reason why I'm using this, and check this out, guys. You're gonna, you're gonna love this. The Actron 9690 has the capability of hooking up to OBD1 cars. Not all of them, uh, but definitely all the, uh, like for instance, we got Chrysler, GM, Ford, Toyota. Here's another Toyota. And here's OBD2. Even, and this, this system was like 100 something dollars, or 212 actually, but you can get the Snap-on one that all, all the, the other, the Snap-on has their equipment for $8,000. They do not, and not just Snap-on, all of them out there, that you spend thousands of dollars, they do not have the capabilities of hooking up to OBD-1. Now, I mean, their older kids did, the old Solus, when the Solus first came out and all that, they did. But the new ones, the Verus and all that, the Verus, the Ultra and all that, they do not have that capability. And if they do, you gotta spend another $400, $500 for the additional kit. Check that out. So this is a cool system I like to use that. So what we need to do is hook up. We're getting our Ford adapter here. And we're gonna connect this up like this. And on these older Fords, you need a power. So what I did, I made something here because what comes with the kit is this adapter right here, this little wire that you plug it, or you can, or I can put batteries in it. Plug that up, and it comes with you plug into the cigarette lighter. But a lot of times I came across cars that the cigarette light didn't work. So what I did was tap into the line and put my own alligator clips up here to do that, to give it, give it power. All right, so what we're gonna do, first of all, um, locate on the back. On the Fords, all the Fords, it's either gonna be back over here or over here. There it is right there. Here's our diagnostic connector right here. You're gonna see the big plug with one little wire. That's very important. All right, so let's hook this up. That into there, and that into there. Okay, that's hooked up. And if you notice, cut the machine on, nothing, nothing comes on. The screen is messed up. So now we gotta do is hook up our power, our power and ground. Hey, I should have had this all taken out. All right, so let's go over here to our battery. And, uh, huh, hook up our positive. Somebody hooked up a damn. Somebody hooked up a brand new negative cable here. Wait a minute here. And if you look over here on the side, there's a ground to the body they hooked up also. So what the heck is that about? Wait a minute, what the heck is this? 
copied this. Two black wires disconnected and two pigtails on this new connector that somebody didn't hook in. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. Where's it supposed to go to? This is supposed to go into this. Well, now, which way are you talking about? This was going down there. Mm -hmm. This is ground for either the body or especially ground for the computer. So if the computer don't have ground, the computer will shut itself down or it won't be it can't be powered up, which in turn which will be the reason why we don't have no injector post up there. So before we do anything, we need to fix this. Let's get this right here. Let's get us some wire strippers because we need I want to cut this and we're gonna clean this with some nice connect nice clean wire available. And then we're gonna, yeah, they definitely didn't have this hooked up because those, if they had it hooked up, it'll be crimped right there, just like these ends also. They definitely didn't. just put that there and left them there? Uh, unless somebody tried to change it and then it was just down and they forgot to hook it up. <laughs> you forget. I, I don't know, especially if you've seen it originally there. So let's get some snips and wire strippers and cut this back. Be right back. All right, guys, first thing we're gonna do, let's cut that back, get us some nice wire showing. Great. All right, the next thing, let's splice this back. Give us enough room back here. Oh, yeah, that's good. And get another one here. All right, now let's twist this. Let's twist this one. And now, what we're going to do is stick this wire in there. In fact, wait a minute, let me make sure it's right about there. All right. Okay. Let's squeeze that together. Dang it, man, I think I... Okay. There's one. And... Let's get the second one in there. Okay. Um, let me see if I get this right because it was a little fast. Okay. These two wires right here that had the little yellow clippies, uh -huh. they're coming from the battery, right? Uh huh. And the other two wires that were sitting there loose, they are attached to what? Um, they go. They're ground for something. Like uh, say if say if um the computer say if it got say if one of these go to the computer, so the computer mm -hmm. got po got positive. But it needs ground to cut on. So one of these could be going to the computer. So then without that, the computer can never come on. So now it gave it its ground. So but um now two it can go they up. originally hooked up and then when they, somebody changed the wire, they didn't hook them back up? That's exactly what it looks like. Oh. That's exactly what it looks like. Okay. Alright guys. Now since we got that connected, you know what? I'm gonna try something here. Let's uh Get our Noid light again. Let's hook it up to there. We're going to try it again. And this time, let's get everything out of the way just in case that was the problem and it starts up. Oh. Okay, let's try it. Go, guys. Let's Very this. brightly. Okay, what we're going to do now, because now we're running on a three cylinders, so now we're going to connect this back so we can run on the four. And let's disconnect this because we know we're good now. All right, now let's try it. Let me give it a little gas. Get it running. Check that out, guys. The 
simple somebody forgetting to hook up ground. Check that out. <laughs> We're astral. We can't hear it. Nobody can. <laughs>